I dove for nothing. You dove for confirmation. I did. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's colder than a well digger's butt. Anyway, Lindsay's the star of the show. She worked her butt off today. In the bottom of my heart. Thank you both for everything you do. While it may seem like so much information is available in the case of missing 54-year-old Karen Adams, it is what is left unknown that is the agonizing part that has tormented her loved ones for over 14 years. One thing for certain, her family knows she would not leave without warning and would never abandon her beloved dog. Please come along on this journey as Chaos Diver sets out to locate her vehicle and bring her home so her family may begin their healing process. Our first day back in the Ohio Valley was spent at Kennedy Marina. This location was chosen due to its proximity to the Mountaineer Casino and the Newell Bridge. Karen had left her home in Aliquippa, Pennsylvania around 2 p.m. and went to the Mountaineer Casino in Chester, West Virginia on March 11, 2007. It is said that she played for several hours and returned home to retrieve a credit card and headed back to the casino. Karen remained there until approximately 4 a.m. While the casino routinely closed at 3 a.m., this was also the night of daylight savings time and the clock sprang forward at 2 a.m. Security cameras show her leaving the parking lot in her maroon 2005 Suzuki Forenza bearing Pennsylvania license plate EDT5587. While her destination was unclear, Karen's cell phone pinged off the south side cell tower of Steubenville around 4.35 a.m. So we dropped Josh off at Kennedy Boat Ramp. What tell you a little bit about Josh? He's been super helpful. He's been super helpful throughout this whole searching for Charles, searching for um, Karen, Joni, and Brian. We are at the Ohio River again in East Liverpool. As you heard Lindsay talk about the cases that we're working on. Um, we already went down to the Mountaineer Casino. We did the, there's a horse track of some sort. There's a track of some sort. We searched all that area. Thought we found something, but we didn't. Uh, verified it going back and forth. So I want to give special thanks to Kennedy Boat Ramp for letting us launch there and not charging us, first of all, and just the generosity of letting us use a boat ramp. So with that being said, I'm going to shut up. This steel bridge that you see there is an object that looks like a vehicle right around in this area. I'm gonna go back through, mark it. I'm gonna tell you it's probably a vehicle. You will see the pictures on the sonar, and you'll see the sonar here in a second of what I think looks like a vehicle. Do I think it's hers? Don't know. I do know that this route that she takes home has guardrails that are missing. There's no guardrails up there. This is a tow booth type steel bridge. Kind of crazy, kind of creepy, especially when you drive underneath it. But there is a vehicle here. So we're gonna mark it, put a buoy on it, and I'm gonna dive it. So here shortly, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. There's an opening right up through there. The vehicle come down in here. Could it be a rock? It could be. Could it be a big rock? It could be. to do a couple more passes because that right there showed me a rock. So we're going to go back through. I see a car more in that image than I did in the other one. Really? Yeah. Lindsay. Yeah. We missed it again. I didn't. Why do we only get it on one side? If that's the case, is my sonar messing up on that one side because of the motor? Tell me that's not a vehicle. That's not a vehicle. I mean, don't tell me that's not oh, a vehicle. Well, you said don't. You that's said, a vehicle. Tell me that's not a vehicle, so I'm doing what you told me to do. That's a vehicle. Are you warm? You see a little heater and the little contraption we made, guys? Folks? Yeah. Works pretty good, doesn't it? Diver skills. 
should hit it. You should feel a lift up. Right here. Okay, just drop it in there. Give a special thanks to Alicia. She brought us food to last us a month. We're gonna dive on this vehicle real quick. I'm just gonna go down. We were gonna wait on another diver, but I can dive on it real quick and come back up. She's gonna have the ripcord on me. We'll be all right. So that ripcord is, if I ever get in trouble, I pull three times, she can actually assist me in pulling me out. While checking between the casino and the Newell Bridge, we found one potential target. Losing daylight quickly, we geared up and headed back down to the bridge. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to uh, drop the anchor and we'll drop it on, drop it down on the, uh, close to the vehicle so she can be right next to me. Let's hope this is, let's hope this is his, her car. the biggest rock I've ever seen in my life. It's car shaped. It's like, it goes in, comes out, goes up, and goes around. That's the biggest car I've ever seen, or biggest freaking rock I've ever seen in my entire life. Underwater anyway. Okay, well, I told you, it was either a rock or it was a, uh, a vehicle, and the magnet's not on there. It's like five to ten feet the other way. All right, guys. So that was close. as long as I'm okay with that, I mean, I'm okay with that. When we had the magnet on there, I knew that it was either a big rock or it was a car. But it looked like a it looked like a car on the sonar. Well, there's definitely times where I was like, yeah, that's that's a that's a car. It's a big rock. It is a huge rock. Like huge. So there you go. We're uh we're done with that. I feel like an idiot now, but hey, guess what? But what if you didn't check it and it was something? It's not a car, is it? You know it really sucks. I dove for nothing. You dove for confirmation. I did. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's colder than a well digger's butt. Well, would you rather have me said which is brass bra? I've just never heard that before. Well, but a well digger's butt is pretty cold. I've, I, I've never heard that before. You ever felt a well digger's butt? I've never known a well digger. This will end this episode. Day one of searching for Karen Adams was a failure. Um, not, a failure. <laughs> not really a failure, just no preparation. Yeah, we just know where she's not. So uh, I want to have Lindsay take this off of, off of me so I can get a little bit warm. We're going to turn the heater on and we're going to head on up. So thank you guys. Keep diving. It's not worth it to stop, which means keep pushing in life. It's not worth it to stop, guys. Just somebody out there loves you. If they don't, I love you. See you guys. Certain we had come across a vehicle, Jacob dove on the most realistic car-like rock he had ever seen, giving a whole new meaning to no stone left unturned. Heading back to the marina, we were able to spend some time with fantastic subscribers and friends, Alicia and her husband, who so graciously donated copious amounts of snacks and groceries to get us through the week. Alicia also shared her story with us about her father and his thirst for life. So Alicia has actually uh, donated like food for a month. Most of Walmart. Like, I think our truck is going to be full of food instead of supplies. We can leave you behind. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got the keys. We can just go. 
Right. Thank you so much for that. Um, we did dive on it, and it was the biggest rock I've ever seen underwater with, like, it looked like a car. Like, if I had, I know what I've seen in the sonar now, and it looked like a car still whenever I was looking at the rock. I'm like, this is a car. It's not. It's a big rock. Wow. So. All those families out there who've had a missing loved one in the water, whether it be for three hours, three days, three months, three years, or three decades, in the bottom of my heart. Thank you both for everything you do. Uh, this is what we do. This is what this is why we do it. It's uh, you know bringing answers to families means a lot. So thank you for your support, and again, thank you for all the food. We're gonna get this loaded up. I'm gonna get in some dry clothes. You're gonna stay out here and freeze to death. We're going. My my arm's a little wet. This side's dry. Um, this side's wet a little bit. Thank you guys. Keep diving. It's not worth the stop. <laughs>